we're gonna go ahead we're gonna play uh little witch in the woods which um hopefully we'll capture all right cool um i'm really excited for it like i said it's not um fully released yet as far as i know um but it looks like a lot of fun and yeah also i'm excited to try it out um and make some potions so let's go oh might help if i press the right buttons right Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. Hi, Wolfie. Thank you for that posture check. Um, Let me readjust. Hold on. Oh, hold on. We're going to have to switch. There we go. Ha ha. Okay. I wonder where the carrot was. All right, there we go. I'm all comfy now. Oh, there we go. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. What is a legendary soup? A legendary carrot soup recipe, I wonder. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. I agree with that. There are some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found that carrot. <gasps> that means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. <laughs> that is a very weird thing to do. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher ballin' like before. Oh, snap. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Oh, shit. What did she do? Or six feet under. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. <laughs> I really like her hat. Her hat's great. Great personality. <laughs> it's totally me. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. That's a lot of pies. Who eats all those pies? Is pies like actual pies or is it like a currency? Because now I have questions. If it's that many pies, what do you do with them? And it's stop the witch's house in Hylian, where the, all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Oh my gosh. I don't think that that was to guarantee you first place. Just saying. Three times. <laughs> I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that honored rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. <laughs> so how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years for your, of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. That would be me. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. What? Shoes? For what? That's what I'm wondering. I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. Yeah, she seems like a big troublemaker. I won't. I won't fool around the, the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. <laughs> Their banter is amazing. It's like me and my husband, I swear. The back and forth. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Hylian. What? So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. There's no way that's for real, right? Why would you... If you take your shoes off, won't you just, like, risk getting hurt or getting a cut or anything? See, Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, 
dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Keyword gain. Lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. The truth remains one. Okay. But I guess we'll talk to the bartender first. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? <laughs> but then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversation to can initiate using... Okay. Oh. What's up? Uh... Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. See? I knew it couldn't be true. There's no freaking way. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O oh, ye who reacheth highly and look first upon thy shoes, or so that's how the saying goes. <laughs> what? Why are shoes so important? They're, no. No way. Also, I'm sorry, uh, ADHD moment, I just noticed the frickin' starry night in the background, and that makes me really happy. It's so tiny and adorable, but it looks amazing. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots, right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. I, it sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude, despite your antics. From the sounds of it, I'm surprised you graduated at all. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Haha, <laughs> hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being, being boredom won't be an issue. <laughs> Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? How many times can you say bored, boring, and boredom in the same same five seconds? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. And I bet she was told not to shake it explicitly five times, and she did it anyways. That's what I feel like. That's the energy I get from her. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. <laughs> this is me. Like, <laughs> that's the kind of thing I would do. Because, you know, I would be questioning, like, why only three times? What happens if you do it a fourth time? Have people actually tested this theory? Is this a thing? Do people know this? Is it well known? All the questions. I, it would be a whole thing. An inquisitive mind, you've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one more person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Can view your notes, okay? The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelet that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh 
lemon scented kiwi sauce even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream oh that sounds really good without this meal i would have jumped off the train sooner <laughs> oh my gosh it's definitely different from the food you, food you buy at the store at the school of for witches I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in Hylian. I'll definitely try the Nubicula, Nubicula cupcakes there. Those sound cool. That's if I get to Hylian before I get bored to death. Oh my gosh. Do we go down? Oh. We go this way, I bet. Oh, there's somebody. There's two somebodies. Ordinary passenger. Hello. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? He's so cool looking. Oh. Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from our school. <laughs> what a comparison. Gotta love it. Well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it comfortable to wear... Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strapping boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. <laughs> Me, every time someone tries to tell a joke. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now, it's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Stop! You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you, don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I would say, like, oh, well, I did it too. <laughs> How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now, go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. But still, we still have three more days to go. Oh my gosh, three days. That's a very long time to be on a, a train. Three more days. That's, ter that's as terrible as the smell of spotted uh, shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms. I don't know why I said that weird. Um, we're back to not being able to speak. That's not really new, though. All right. Now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. <laughs> I love their banter back and forth. That's so great. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out of the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. <laughs> this is so aggressive. Just shut up, Virgil. <laughs> There's a gigantic... 
gigantic shimmering or gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Oh my god, <laughs> she's, so, she's so ridiculous, I love it. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any more crocophants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West, it's a healing game, remember? <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> there you go. Hey, a boa constrictor. <laughs> the correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train? I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's something massively, some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. <laughs> I love it so much. She's great. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. <laughs> yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time... Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that! We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. I freaking love her personality. So much. We just go down? Yes. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's fantastic. Search for the shining shimmering tree. Okay. Can we not go? Hello? Oh, there we go. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Is it though? Is it really? Let's find out how bad news it is. It's a secret pass passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. <gasps> What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's a honey pumpkin? That sounds cool. What's that? <laughs> what I just asked. It's a type of wheat that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of the of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off the light, when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Is this the nucleus? Ooh. Did I? <gasps> oh, snap. It just like pops like bubbles. How cool was that? Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Um, okay. We're gonna sprint. Wow, she's super fast. Shake! Apple! Acquire. I like apples. Apples! <gasps> What's this? It looks like a stick. I like how she kind of squats to pick things up. It's super cute. The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so 
Go quickly if you want to see it. You must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be me. Just shit up already. Let me go. <laughs> let me explore. That's how I feel about my husband sometimes. I'm like, just let me go. He's like, but don't forget this. Or you're hungry. He likes to tell me I'm hungry a lot. I'm like, shh. Just, just let me, let me do the bad, the bad things. The wandering. The getting lost. The sometimes taking things that aren't mine. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. He's so funny. What is... <gasps> a witch flower? Dangle mango. Can we just go down? Okay, so it doesn't really matter. We can go... What the heck? What is this? Is this supposed to be a statue? It looks like sloth or babies. I like that I can just gather things. I'm truly that person. If I can take things, I will in video games. Um, because it's way more fun that way if you can just snag things. Can I go down, down this? No. Darn. You'd think you could, but apparently not. Who needs to get back on the train when you can just take supplies everywhere you go? <gasps> what was that? Do I need a net or something? I bet we need some kind of net later. Oh, what? Oh, maybe we get some tools too? That'd be cool. Alright, let's go up the mountain. Let's see what we find. Oh! <gasps> Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or... Do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, long as it's drawn well. <gasps> oh, we did it! Not that that took a whole lot, you know. Just instant, but still. <gasps> wow, it's a, the gigantic shining tree! The same one we saw from the train! This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. Ooh, that's cool. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight? That sounds so freaking cool. I love moon and moonlight and anything related to that. So these butterflies are super awesome in my opinion. I, I want to, if this ever existed, if it does exist, because I don't know. I mean, it's very possible there's something similar to this. If there is, I would want to find it and see it for myself because that would be amazing. It's not just beautiful. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. I agree. It really is. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? <gasps> what? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucerne or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Interesting. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, and all right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back to the way we came. There might be other strange things. 
Can we go over here? Is there like anything over here to discover? No? Okay. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rock should make for a nice bed. That sounds uncomfortable as heck. That's not funny, Virgil. <laughs> Look, the blue moon butterflies we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it? That's right. Approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Oh, that's cool. Now look at her approach. <gasps> oh, look at it go! <gasps> we did it! It's so cute! Oh, that's cool. Tools used for collecting. Okay, collectibles can be acquired. A butterfly emits a blue, a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will eas not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Great, it's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Tool. Hmm, so you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now, then. But I want to do it right now! Getting to the witch's house in Hylian is more important. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go back down. Now, there's gotta be something else that's fun. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, because we didn't really go this way. <gasps> there's a thing over there. Hold on. Can we get across there? No? Okay. <gasps> oh, snap! We found something. What did we find? How do we... Can we get around here? Oh, we need that, huh? Dang. Okay. Ooh! Let's do this. Draw with quill. <gasps> Yay! And then we'll pick it up. I bet we can't draw with quill right now. Let's see. Can I come over here and draw it? Or is it the same thing? I guess it's the same thing. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and gather that. You can tempor temporarily get rid of the vines with weed terminator potion, but they'll grow back after a while. Then what do I do? Find the cord should be somewhere near the vines. I know, but okay, so I can't get to the core fast enough. Well, we got some rocks, so that's cool. Um, how do I quill? Go ahead and color with the quill. Oh, we can't we can't draw it with the quill. I thought maybe we could. I don't know why, I just thought that might be useful. Retrace your path, which I'm clearly doing so well by the, my detour here. But who wants to go the normal way when you can detour it? All right. Is that it? <gasps> it's a kitty! Oh, wow! Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! 
A shining white cat? I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to. Let's go after the creature. I'm not gonna lie, if I saw a kitty, I'd probably chase it too. Wait, <gasps> wait, tree branches. Okay. We gotta pick them all up. Sorry. Kitty can wait slightly. The kitty is so adorable. Look how adorable this kitty is. <gasps> you have the right chalk. I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern. It looks like a little it looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up earlier, let's draw it again with that. Ooh, that's neat. Should I draw the witch pattern again using one witch, which is white chalk? Yes. All right, I drew the witch pattern again. Investigate. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at the little jack-o'-lantern and everything. <gasps> huh? Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at the witch's house? That's true, but... <gasps> knock, knock. Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody's here. It could be an abandoned witch's house because the witch administration can't figure out everything all right let's go inside oh oh my gosh it's pretty cute oh it really is an abandoned witch's house taking that into consideration it looks okay although it's not that clean since the witch's house is managed on her own it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. Excuse me for that yawn. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Okay. Can we clean up? The house is a bit messy. Well, just sleep for one day. Who cares? Okay, fine. We'll sleep, I guess. Virgil, so pushy about the sleeping. Oh, is that us and the kitty? Um, what's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? Wait, what? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Oh, no. I bet we're not going to make it in time. It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Is it even in our ability to make it in time? Uh-oh. Might also help if I was going the way we came last night. There we go. I think this is the right way. This looks right. Can we make it? Even if we run? Huh? Where's the train? Haha, -ha, looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where's the train? It probably went to Hylian. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? 
I've been through much worse with your mom. Wow, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> well, he's gone. What is that thing? It's called the Gaga Bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga Bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. Wow, you're so mean. A letter! We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send a knight and Arden my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby. <laughs> Who cares about the train? The village is there. The village is much more fun. There's new people to meet. But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there is a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. Uh, you heard me right. Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's great. I love her personality so much. She's so adorable. <laughs> Oh, look. More apples or berries or whatever. Looks like apples. Oh, crayon apple. I was wondering why they were on bushes. <gasps> What's that? Okay, we're going to draw this with a quill. And then... We can pick up. It's a witch flower. That's cool. Can I not acquire it? <gasps> Shake! Ooh, draw with quill. <gasps> Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Okay, cool. A bush bug. Aw, cute. Crayon apple. What's up here? Oh, <gasps> there's a little well. That's super cute. Alright, is there anything to get up here? Like gather? No. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> More crayon apples. Bunnies! <gasps> More things to add. Oh, let's do the little bunny. Let's do the little bunny. Yes! It's so cute. I love it so much. Ooh. Okay. So that's where we probably need to go, but They've got the stuff blocking the way. So... Can we maybe go up this way to get to it? Somehow? What does this sign say? Is this the sign for the witch's house? It's different from what I'm used to. It's because it's old. Well, okay then, Virgil. Geez, you didn't have to be such a cranky pants about it. <gasps> there it is again. It's so cute. Okay. Betty just can't just climb down. Okay. Um, let's see if there's a way to easily get to the the little center over there. Um, and see if that's how we do that. Can we read these signs? The town lies east of to the east of here. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. It's little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. Uh, 
I think this is the way to the village, but the little hum honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh. Maybe we can find uh, the potion he was talking about. Or it's like a potion or a spell or something he said that we could use, I think. So that would be cool. I guess we're going to have to clean up first. Let's get rid of the weed first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull all this out using hands. Take a look at the bit over there. It might have a potion to get rid of the weed. There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. <gasps> is there another tool? Yes, there is a wonderful tool. <gasps> What's that? Your hands. <laughs> how'd, I know, how'd I know he was going to say that? That was great. Oh my goodness. Ah. All right. So. Weed? What weed? What weed are we supposed to? Clean up. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? I need to take my hands. Ah, okay. I gotta actually be using my hands, not my quill. I really like whatever this plant is. Super pretty. Uh, thank you. Okay. All these weeds. So many weeds. Jeez. Wonder if we get use out of the weeds or not. Alright, we'll go over here to these weeds. And it looks like there's one more set of weeds. At least we, uh, have stamina. Could be worse. Could not have stamina. Guess we can't clean up that, uh, bag there. Kinda sucks. <gasps> what was that? Huh? That's no weed. <gasps> what was that? It left something behind. A writer. A writer? Writering? That's a cute name. Why was it buried there? Someone could have buried it. Or it could have been sleeping. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. There's not much that's known about writer rings. Well, other than good fortune if you find one. Yeah, I guess it did leave behind a gift of sorts. Try to spot them while you're wandering around. Okay, I'll look for more. Alright, interesting. What did it leave? Did we get something? I like that you could take a nap there. Okay. Can we go inside now? Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that, need, that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. <gasps> she really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> my room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. <laughs> so ruthless. I love it. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerne or two. Interesting. All right. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. That's cool. Right? It's a witch bookshelf! Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. <laughs> wow. That's, same, uh, that's the same as a witch bookshelf. True. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. That, what does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. I read enough books at school. Hmm. Witch history. The 12 plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. 
That's what I would be. I would be um, a plant witch because that'd be so cool to like learn about all the botany and what all the different plants and stuff can do, their purpose and how they look and how they're differing from other ones that look similar and just, oh, I love botany so much. Um, all uh, done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. Clean up. No. Back. Clean up. There we go. <gasps> There's some dust over there, Ellie. <clears throat> Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. <clears throat> you should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. I like how she wants a scary monster. That's the best part. <gasps> wow, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again? I feel this. Cleaning is not fun. I know what this is. It's an extractor. We use it, used it so many times at school. It was slightly smaller. It's a, it was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. It seems like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to sweep the floor too? <gasps> wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. It's so big. It's bigger than her. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Shop workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly pr processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last you'll end up with a proper potion. In order to craft potions, you need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Okay, cool. So you actually have to put in all three of those into account, and I think that's awesome. I actually like Teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the right ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there's some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yes. There is no handle for the winding spring. For winding the spring. Wow. I really cannot read today. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for the basic recipes. And there should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. I just... Your inventory is full. Well, crud. Let's focus on what we're doing now. Okay. What are we doing now? Clean the witch's house. Find the glass bottle for the extractor. Okay. Alright, so let's clean up. The spilled bottle scribbled paper the spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of the moon. 
The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, sorry. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Oh, that's awesome. I love that so much. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. It seems like moons something. I have no idea. I got a headache. <laughs> I feel this on a personal level. Take a look if you remember later. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. A few encyclopedia recipes. Okay. We're going to go clean over here. This box looks pretty useful. I could put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Finish cleaning? It seems like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to sweep the floor too? Okay. Um, since our inventory is full. How do I... Move all. Okay. He keeps talking about stuff dropping. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. Yes, I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them for now. There was little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion? Whatever! Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. You'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. Okay. Um, encyclopedia. Put two squishy chub fur in an extractor and squeeze the juice. Put two witch flour in an extractor and squeeze the juice. Set fire to stage four. Stir the ladle. Don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. Okay. Okay. Got that. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Which is pot? Uh, select ingredient. How do I... There we go. Jeez. Did I do that right? Did I mess it up? How do you do it so that it does both? Select ingredient. Which verb? Okay. I need two of those, or one of those. Which flower extract was it? Like that?
No, nope, we messed it up again. Okay, now I'm going to have to read it. Oh, squishy chub and then two witch flower extract. And then set. Oh, okay. But we don't have two witch flower extract. We only have one. <gasps> did we do it? Oh, we did it! Okay, okay, cool. We did it. Um, To make best use of this potion, it is best to know what unwanted plant you are targeting and is most effective on garden weeds. Awesome! The stubborn weed extermination potion is complete! It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. Oh, her face, she looks so angry. I love that little pout. Alright, so we use it to remove it and then, or to remove part of it. You can now save and load from the cabinet on the first floor of the witch's house. Oh, over here? Oh, okay. Cool. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once per day. Well, what if I want multiple naps in one day? How are you going to restrict my nappage? That's unacceptable. I don't want my nappage restricted. Oh, no. How do I use the potion? How do I... Oh, equip potion. Um, select. Ground. Aim. How do I... Oh, okay. Here it goes. Good. I think it's working properly. All right, now we remove the nucleus. Okay, it took me a second. Jeez. I was trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> All right, cool. We did it. Yay. That's exciting. Oh, there's a person here. And whatever that is. Huh? This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no. What do I do with the extractor? First, take a look around here. Well, look at this. What is this cute thing? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I got stuck on it, but it was adorable. Hello, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can help lift the curse... That, that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. Oh, but we can't use the machining tool now. I must process what's being collected to make a potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make a curse-lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her what? 
That's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. Where? Whoa, you weren't kidding! All right, now let's make curse lifting candy to lift the curse and to receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. Give me one second to make one quick adjustment. Okay, much better. Oh, there we go. Take a look at that huge prickly vine. Oh, can we not? Oh, we have to go, I guess, investigate it first. Investigate. Wow, they really are big. Too big for the weed extracting, weed terminating potion, I think. Hmm, we'll have to do something else. We'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. A way to get rid of the giant prickly vines. All right, cool. All right, so first we have to dispel her curse and obtain the glass bottle. All right, so let's see if we have the stuff to the means to do that. All right, let's go down to the workplace. Oh, we need to check the potion first. Um, this is how we do it. I had to remember. Curse lifting candy. We need a squishy chub and maple herb. Okay. Oh, select. Select. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing, probably. The heat. What was the heat? Stage three. Okay, that's why. How do I adjust the heat? There's ladle direction. Oh, fire strength. There we go. Oh cool i like that that it's so it's much more in depth than just like having the ingredients and pressing craft all right let's go see if we can't lift our curse real quick that's awesome no shoot <laughs> i press a like wanting to run um thinking that it was something else and forgot that run is the bumper so instead, we got to go in the elevator multiple times, because why the heck not, right? Elevators are cool like that, especially witches' elevators. I mean, come on. Shall I give her the curse-lifting candy? Give. Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much to hell with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature, pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad it, it, the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aurora. How long has it been since I said my name? My name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh, dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I'll be staying. So I've been staying there. An empty. Oh yes, there's a witch house here. That's good. I've 
business in the town, too, but the vines stop me, nature be damned. <laughs> I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for winding the roaster. Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witch tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Eh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. Oh yay, we got the glass. Sweet. How much is this? Seems so panicked now. Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank God. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good, please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. Ooh, it's a new recipe for healing candy. That's helpful. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now I'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That. I'll decide that when it happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. All right, let's go do that then. Oh, what are you? What is that? It looks like it's related to those um, vines earlier. Oh, it's a pumpkin terrier. That's what it is. It's related to the the pumpkin vines that we just uh, dealt with. So that's cool. All right, so let's go to the extractor and fix that real quick. Should I use the glass bottle I have for the extractor? Use. Good, now I can use the extractor. We can finally make potions properly. Then what do I do now? Didn't you want to go to the village? You should remove the giant prickly vine. That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing without the recipe I ha with the recipe I have now. The basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed terminator potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked? A little more, yeah. So the forest... Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but we don't have the stuff to make. We don't have witch flower, do we? Um, move tabs. How do I switch inventory? There we go. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing now. Okay. Um, select move all. Okay. Oh, how do I access my inventory? Nope, that's not it. Um, inventory. Uh, 
Huh. Okay. Okay, we don't have enough witch flower. Press and hold. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. No. Um, read? Use? Something? Yes. Okay. Jeez. Figuring out the controls of the game is always the hardest part for me. <gasps> ka! A crow? Witch ka! It spoke? It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns! The witch returns! This is my first time coming here, though. The witch returns! Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services. Car! Goods and services. Witch's catalog. The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards Hylian, young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to Hylian. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Car! Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. They're handing out gifts as well, plus it's limited time only. Car, gift! Multi-purpose glue, kitchen accessories, a spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have it in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. All right, let's register for now. Thank you. Car, thank you. Visit employee, visit employee. Car, vision employee. When? Work finished, work finished. Closed for the day. Closed for the day. Okay, then. So suddenly? It's not easy getting the message across to witches, crows. Hmm, then I guess I should keep searching for, th for the village. You never know when the witches catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. I got witch's flower. Can I not gather this? Okay. What else are we needing? Extract of some kind, right? No, it's, uh, what is this? Maple herb. Okay, so we're gonna have to find maple herbs, which I have no idea what those look like. I don't think we've come across one yet, to be perfectly honest. Okay, we'll gather from that. Can I look in this pot? No. Pots do does nothing for me. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't find some maple herb. No, I'm not really seeing any. I wonder um, if time has a major factor in this game, like most games. I wonder if there's a... Uh, or, like, I need to go to sleep or anything. Okay. Branch. All the branches. Okay, but I want to know how to get the maple stuff. <gasps> what? My inventory is full. Uh, no, my inventory was full. Which means I didn't get to do anything with that. That stinks. Oh, am I out of stamina or something? I hope we can upgrade our inventory because our inventory is not um very big. Also, the sun goes down very early. Although I can't say much, because, you know, right now in the summer, our sun doesn't go down until, like, 9 o'clock. Right. What should I do? We're going to save. Cool. And then we're going to sleep. 
I'm not sleepy yet. Okay, fine. Um, let's put some stuff up then. Can I extract anything? We can do witch's flower. Oh, but my inventory is full again. Crap. Also, I didn't even look in here. Oh, okay. Wonder what's what we can do in there. All right. What is this maple herb? Okay, I want to see what this is. I keep pressing back, thinking it's A for some reason. Um, but I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. The ancient witch text. Is that it? Oh, okay. I thought, I don't know, we could do something with it. Okay. Now we can make the extract, right? There we go. Much better. Okay. Alright, so now we just need to find a place that we haven't explored yet, I assume. And that's how we'll find what we're looking for. I don't know how we're supposed to get maple. Um, let's see. Can we get it up here somewhere? Virgil, look at that! What is it? It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. Why? You must get rid of it to get a new place. To get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. Oh, I guess it can't be helped to get to the new place. I guess it should make the weed terminator potion. I guess I should make the weed terminator potion. It's simple because I've made it once before. Don't forget to remove the nucleus if you want to avoid repeating the same thing. Yes. Okay. Well, I got that, but we don't have the stuff to make the potion. I very much wish we did, though. Oh, that looks like that's going to be a bridge later. That's good, at least. I just need to figure out how to get the maple. I haven't seen anything that looks like it would be maple. Um, probably have to repair that or something. Okay. I think this just takes us up to the tree, but it's worth, like, looking around. No, there's nothing, is there? All right, then let's go back down this way, I guess. Is this even taking my stamina? I'm not even sure that it's actually taking stamina. Oh, there's maple herb. Okay, we can get them on the vines. All right, so some of these vines have it. So that's useful to know. There's more vines over here. I don't know how much we're going to need, so I'm going to go see if there's more on these vines real quick. Oop. And then see if we can't um, make the potion now. Oh, that looks like one over there. As well as this fruit, which I don't know if it's any use to us. I guess we'll find out. Ugh. I'm having a hard time figuring out the vines because they're very specific. So it's going to take some practice with that. Alright. Oh, look at all this maple. Oh, wait. Do we still have our chalk? Was that like a one-use one thing? Don't have the right chalk. Dang. 
Okay, well, let's see what we can find over here. I'm going to go up there in just a minute. I want to finish collecting this real quick. Enough stamina. Okay, interesting. What is this? That's it? Just this pretty flower? I want to do something with the pretty flower. Let me do stuff with it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Can we go this way? Is there stuff? No. Oh, let's get this though. We definitely need this. Oh, that's right. I don't have enough stamina. Damn it. I forgot that you need that to actually collect stuff, which is kind of annoying since you're just picking it up, but whatever. I get it, I guess. So you have to use an actual like stamina bar type thing. I guess we will get some sleep. Because I bet we can't make the potion either. Let's see if we can. I'm kind of curious if we also need stamina for this. No, you don't need stamina? Oh, we can make multiple. Cool. We're just going to extract it all because it um, seems like we're going to need this uh, potion. No? Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Which flower? Maple herb. Uh, curse lifting candy, healing candy. What am I supposed to do here? What's the different ones? Cat oh, did I just pass out? <gasps> well, apparently there is a time factor. Groan. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. It seemed like something important. Like the principal's sermon? That's something I don't want to think about again. Wow, I love it. All right, let's see if we can't make this potion real quick. Okay, how do I... Sunlight potion? Squishy chub fur. How do we get that? I guess the... Wait, what is... Hold on. Is the squishy chub the little bunnies? Oh, okay. So we're going to have to go to the bunnies and try to get them... Get some fur from them. All right, so we're going to do that first. Alright, so it seems like we don't have much time because they just start running away. Makes sense. I mean, I would run away too. Alright, so I don't know how much uh, squishy chub fur we're going to need, so we're going to go find another batch of them and see if we can get at least two more just in case. And then we're going to make potion and um, and then we'll be able to use it on that little spot that we found. I think it was up here that we saw the other squishy chubs, wasn't it? Ah, uh, my inventory's full already. Dang it! <gasps> I got them. Okay, cool. Sprout bird. No, it wasn't up here. It was like... There was a small spot for them. 
I'm very sad that we can't get this freaking flower, though. Okay, no. Wrong spot that I'm thinking of, apparently. All right, let's see. Oh, it was down here. Okay. How do I acquire it? Acquire again? Hello? Um, it won't let me acquire it again? Okay, dang it. I wonder why. There's gotta be a trick to it, I imagine. Since they're such skittish little be little things. You know, ting. Okay. Thought maybe if I like did it slowly or something, but it did not work. That's frustrating. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come down here. All right. So we need um. Okay. Two squishy chub for two witch flowers. Why can't we use this? Mm. Oh, we need extract. Okay, well, crap. Crap again. Our stuff is full. Okay, transfer. All right, let's see if we can do this now. I didn't realize we needed extract. That would make more sense. Is one extract enough? I hope. No, I pressed the wrong thing again. <gasps> did we do it? Yes, we did it. All right, cool. Perfect. So glad we managed to do that. All right. So that is going to be all for today.